Hello and good morning LinkedIn. We've heard so much about hand tracking in the last week with Microsoft HoloLens 2.0 at 25 points, Leap Motion at 22, and Magic Leap at 9. Now HTC has released an, uh, an SDK for their Vive Pro and Vive Focus that allows 21 point skeletal uh, hand tracking just utilizing the front facing stereo cameras. Now I have this running in Unity in the background. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now this is an incredible achievement. You can see your 21 point hand tracking again. There is a downside to this. Obviously you can't utilize this in dark environments. That's the advantage of having an infrared flood emitter or a depth camera or a vertical cavity surface emitting laser, um, you know, which isn't negatively impacted by uh, ambient lighting. But you know, I have to say congratulations to the entire team. You know, this is gonna open up a, a, a whole host of new integrators for virtual reality and potentially augmented reality and mixed reality as well um, in ambient lighting environments. So, you know, download the SDK today. I've been testing it since three o'clock this morning. I've had a lot of fun, but it's, it's really, it's a tremendous achievement and congratulations again. But I also wanted to show you guys something that I was testing here, um, integrating, you know, near eye displays with a, a depth camera that's the size of a, a gum stick essentially and, and this is the PMD Camboard Pico Flex and I just have this here for hand tracking Now this has 26 points of degrees of freedom there for the hand tracking at eight and has a, a vertical vertical cavity surface emitting laser at 850 uh, uh, nm uh, nanometers and there's a mixed mode on here that also gives you a couple different streams and, and then it, a few different applications there's also an SDK called Mano Motion. Uh, that, that allows you to integrate this for full skeletal hand tracking. I believe that's at 26 uh, degrees of freedom, but this is really incredible. This is the Vuesix blade that I have here that I'm testing on the front. And what I'm trying to showcase here is that you can integrate hand tracking into various types of headsets. Now, it's, it's just, it's, it's one of those things maybe three or four years ago that was, you know, it, it, on the front of everybody's, uh, you know, thoughts as we're moving forward for user interfaces. But now every single one of these devices should have hand tracking in one form or another. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, reach out, reach out to me and let me know. Um, and then I hope you're having a great weekend. Thanks. Bye-bye.